Welcome to the Absite Smackdown Podcast. We'll talk clinical scenarios, interesting Absite facts, and interesting general surgery knowledge. Now, let's get to it. Welcome to the Absite Smackdown Podcast, and I'm here today with my co-host, Jessica Rizzo. Hi, Jessica. How are you today? Hi, David. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing really well. And as you may know from the last episode, Jessica recently said, hey, Dave, you're on here so much. Why don't you become the co-host? And so today I get to call her my co-host. I mean, technically it's true, right, Jessica? It is. Yeah, that's true. And you got to do the intro, which, you know, is my least favorite part. So I'm super (laughs) excited. I kind of passed the buck a little bit, huh? You sure did. You delegated it effectively to the new guy. Congratulations. That's what all good hosts do. So well done on that. Now today, and I'll just go on and intro the thing too. Today, we're going to talk about our 50th episode. Jessica, can you believe this is our 50th episode of the podcast? No, I mean, that's amazing, especially with it falling right at Christmas time and doing a holiday podcast, like just that many. Wow. That's amazing. I'm surprised. Yeah, things line up and I think as we've gone along, we've kind of generated a pretty easy way to to do it and tried to keep it meaningful. And so, look, this is one I was really looking forward to because today we're going to talk about which of the last 50 episodes have been our favorites. So this one is uh, Jessica and David's uh, favorite episodes from the first 50 episodes of the Absite Smackdown podcast. And so Jess, with that, let's get to it. The Absite Smackdown podcast. Visit the Smackdown at AbsiteSmackdown.com. Merry Christmas, Absite Smackdown family. Now we get to see if all this hard work that we put in in 2020 will pay off for those 2021 test scores. Thank you for following us on YouTube, for joining us on our Smackdown podcast, and for being on all of our social media. So from the Absite Project Smackdown team, here we are, wishing you a happy holiday. What have you liked so far? Okay, well, I feel like I'm going to be kind of biased because I've definitely liked it more as we've grown, as we've adapted and changed a little bit, um, and they've gotten longer and we have the YouTube channel. So almost all of my favorites fall around like the holiday or, and then I have, I have one that is silly. It's my favorite strictly because the slides we used uh, Star Wars (laughs) and it to reference. And so. Well, Jessica, That's let's go favorites. through them that each is. individually. Uh, why don't you tell me right. which, just tell me about one of your favorites. Give me a title or what okay. about, what's one of your favorite episodes we've done so far? Okay, so my favorite episode, period, end of story, is the Halloween episode, because right. I got to see you in costume, I got to be in my little cow costume, and we were talking about, like, the dark and twisted facts of Absite Smackdown, oh, yeah. which was different than the five dumbest facts, but super awesome. And um, I especially loved it just because, you know, we talked about how the liver regrows itself and how kind of creepy that is <laughs> and um, how the Greek mythology, you know, tied into that and then the twisted gut. And it was just so cool to me. And so that was definitely by far my favorite. Yeah. And just as a reminder, you know, if someone's listening and they haven't heard that episode yet, a couple things yeah. like Jess was talking about sort of the punishment of Prometheus, where he kind of took fire and then was obligated by Zeus to get his liver eaten every day by some huge bird. Mm -hmm. And how that actually turns out to be true, sort of, because the liver will regrow and it takes in a lot of phosphate as it does that. Uh, That was one of the darkest abscite facts because it's just sort of strange. And then that twisted gut one that actually one to 2% of people are walking around with asymptomatic non-rotations of their gut really weird strange but true and dark so yeah that was a really good episode it was really interesting to bring all that together (laughs) around the halloween time i got to wear my dodgeball uniform like you said you got to wear your uh, cow uniform so yeah that was a fun one um what else (laughs) what's another favorite one that you have Ooh, okay so again i just feel like i'm i'm picking the the holiday ones which is such a cop-out but i also love the thanksgiving one because you know I knew that I, I I knew that we all got sleepy when we ate turkey and I knew that there had to be a reason for it, but it wasn't until we talked about doing the episode and you explained it to me and I still can't say it right. Tryptophan, tryptophan, 
correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of, of thought, like you said, that the amino acid tryptophan is some, at least, of why uh, of what's responsible <laughs> for making us sleepy. But of course, you just ate a big meal too, and that's known to make you sleepy, like we said, because it's both <laughs> annual. But like you said, that was part of that fact that uh, was mm -hmm. uh, really made the podcast kind of interesting for me to do. And there were some other things too. Is there anything else you liked about the podcast and the facts that came up? Well, I mean, I found it really interesting that, um, so when we were talking about carcinoma, how it's not apparent all the time and that that's one of the issues that we have. And I, I cannot say <laughs> the word polite pellagra pellagra yeah pellagra some people <laughs> say <laughs> uh, differently and you, you did well and i'll tell you also very interesting that um the particular carcinoma that you're talking about is carcinoid uh, carcinoid. carcinoid and yeah. carcinoid syndrome and the diversion of tryptophan and niacin diversion along with that and pellagra with its four d's diarrhea dermatitis dementia and death so you really <laughs> yeah four four um, so we had a really interesting one, uh, and I like the Thanksgiving one. The only problem for me was it got me thinking about my, one of my favorite parts of Thanksgiving, which is the yeah. fake cranberry sauce. And I just like <laughs> thought about that for, because, you know, we record the podcast before we get to Thanksgiving and man, yeah. that was on my mind for days before Thanksgiving actually came up, but I, I really, fake. I really it's enjoyed that podcast fake. too. Yeah. <laughs> I um, did too. Yeah. The Absite Smackdown Podcast, bringing you the best for your Absite review. Hey guys, it's me, Jess, your host of Absite Smackdown Podcast. Guess what we did? We made a coloring book. So now you can spend your time coloring, relaxing, and studying all in one. You can find it on Amazon or on our website at www.absitesmackdown.com. Yeah, it was great. What about you, though? I'm, I mean... There has to be a favorite for you, especially when you came up with. Well, you have shared a lot of the ones I liked. I like the holiday ones too, but I have an unusual one I liked. Uh, I was mm -hmm. on the island of St. Martin doing some work um, when COVID was really kind of toward the beginning of it. And they wanted a team to set up a forward hospital there and take care of COVID patients with these mm -hmm. ventilators. And oh, it's just, it's so much of a story. But well, at the beginning <laughs> of one of the podcasts, I actually recorded it on a beach in St. Martin. And so as far as podcasts go, that was a super fun one just because of <laughs> where I was. It's the thyroid review one. In the beginning, you can hear the waves. I think there may be a stray bird. It wasn't really that great. I think you had to edit that out because the stray bird is kind of in the way. But super <laughs> fun to record there. And it was just beautiful. So I can't say enough about that one. Kind of a strange reason to have it as a favorite, I guess, uh, because it was the recording of it, not so much the, the facts of right. the thing. Yeah. I mean, it can still be your favorite experience. And actually that is one of the more helpful series that we've done for people to actually learn from. So it, it could be a favorite for that too. For sure. You know, uh, we see the statistics and you guys show them to me on who's looked or listened to each podcast. Mm -hmm. And some of the ones with hundreds of viewers are the thyroid review one for free. It's obviously all free. Colorectal, mm -hmm. uh, there's an adrenal one. And the videos are posted too uh, for each of those. You can find that at absitesmackdown.com along with the transcript. So those seem to be the most listened to, most watched, uh, et cetera. And you'd expect that. But the other ones are not far on their heels um, or are right on their heels, I should say. There's a lot of people uh, from all over who listen to it. And I, I couldn't be more amazed and feel, feel lucky uh, because the first 50 episodes have been pretty well received. It's been great. It's a fun time. It's still 50. Wow. All right. I'm trying to think of what could be some of my other favorites. Oh, there's just so many and they're all so good. I have good memories of every single one of them. Um, well, as you think, I'll share my other <laughs> favorite, and this will be my last okay. one for the list, uh, but my other okay. favorite is the top five dumbest absite facts. And, you know, okay. like questions, you can say there's no stupid question or no stupid fact. And that's, I understand that. That's a, a great mentality. Mm -hmm. But one of them, uh, one of the facts always stands out in my mind, and that is cirrhosis of the liver. When people say cirrhosis of the liver, there's really not much else that 
has cirrhosis. You don't say, well, this person had, has a cirrhotic little toe or had a, you just don't do it. And then one of the other facts that was really kind of a weird fact is under the indications for resection of a uh, hepatic metastasis from colon cancer. When do you take those out of the liver? And one of the criteria for doing it, one of the indications for doing it is if you think the patient could tolerate the procedure. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know any procedure you said, well, you know, yeah, this isn't a life-saving procedure. It's, it's pretty elective. I don't think they're going to tolerate it. They're going to do really badly with it. And you know what? I'm going to do that procedure on them. It's probably just not a good idea. So that's kind of <laughs> one of the facts, review book, absite review book facts here. It just kind of makes me think, what? So I really enjoyed uh, getting those facts out um, because yeah. every time I read these in review books, I think to myself, that's just, that's a weird one. So there you go. That's weird. They're making it super obvious for the really, really smart people that take things literally. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> yeah, you know, and pretty much everybody who gets to the level of being a surgical, uh, surgical mm -hmm. uh, resident, you know, they're they're all smart people. They've done well in medical school. They right. got to medical school. You know, they're not. Right. We're not talking a bunch of schleps here. So every time I see something <laughs> like that written down, I think to myself. Who is that one for? What and and we continue to write it in review books and kind of perpetuate it. And I, I've never met the person who needs that particular fact. But um, hey, you never know. Never know. Um, so I did remember my favorite, and I lied because it's not the Halloween one. It's not the Thanksgiving one. It's the don't f with the pancreas one. Oh. That is my favorite. That's my favorite podcast. I can't believe I didn't say that right off. Why? What is it about that one? Is it just the title of it? Is it what? What is it that does it for you for that one? The Absite Smackdown podcast is based on the best-selling review book, Absite Smackdown. The only Absite review with an entire video review course included. Visit AbsiteSmackdown.com and pick it up today. For you, for that one. Well, it's not just the title, but it's kind of like that that's such a known known thing throughout surgical that you don't do it and what it does to itself and how like finicky it is and then it can make soap and then we were talking about fight club and making oh, soap yeah. out of body fat and i don't know it just it was so cool to me it's awesome yeah it's, so that's it's my a thing that was my it's, favorite one yeah it's a thing i mean the, there are three rules of general surgical residency and this is a a tongue-in-cheek thing that one that gets passed from attendings to residents and residents to residents and the three rules are eat when you can sleep when you can, and don't F with the pancreas. Those are the three right. rules, which is really interesting because then I went on uh, in my training to do transplant fellowship and we didn't just right. F with the pancreas. We took it out, put a Y graft on it, put it in somebody else. And it was just like, oh, but in general, <laughs> that saying don't F with the pancreas is a wise saying because right. the reasons you're there in general surgical cases, you know, just basically it's a good idea often to uh, not mess with it so much for what you're there for. Yeah. Um, it, right. I'm really interesting to me that you, you like that episode for the title and yeah, saponification when you have drains in patients with pancreatic injuries or lesions or whatever, mm -hmm. and you, you shake the drain and it's soapy. It looks like it uh, has bubbles in it and it's soapy because yeah. of saponification. Really interesting to me that uh, you picked up on that and you like that one. That's interesting. <laughs> it is. It was so cool to me. So now that we've kind of reviewed some of our favorites, obviously we already know what my definite number one is. What is your number one? Mm, whoa. Uh, my <laughs> number one, I would have to say of all the ones we've did, we've done so far mm -hmm. is uh, the top five dumbest website facts and the facts that actually didn't make the podcast because there are a lot of things we say sometimes that are really, you kind of look at them like, oh, what, what are you thinking with that? Uh, one, for example, is um, the word etiology. We didn't really make put that into the podcast, but etiology is the study of the cause of something. So, you know, we'll be speaking uh, about something in healthcare, doc to doc or someone to someone, and we'll say, well, what's the etiology of this? Or what's the, you know, that's not what we mean. We don't mean what's the etiology of what's the study of the cause of this. We mean, what's the cause? What's the cause of their right. pancreatitis? What's the, so right. there are all kinds of things that didn't make that podcast for the top five dumbest facts because they were only dumb enough to be like number seven or eight, we thought. Uh, and I enjoyed it for that. Like I said, that episode for me 
was really cathartic. It kind of got out all these years of reading review book facts. <laughs> right? That's kind of a weird one. So it, it got all that out there. I really enjoyed that one. I thought it was fun. Well, I guess that's asking us to do another one of more, part two, <laughs> more dumb upside facts. Yeah. I guess we'll have to cover that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I really want to be careful about it because they're not dumb facts. I mean, you need to learn this stuff. So we practice yeah, it. But ones where you you first read it and you go, what the heck? Or ones that are just kind of left field or don't make sense. And then there are even some facts where one fact contradicts the other. It doesn't really fit with it. And you say, well, how does that work? And you try to resolve it. So yeah, I'd be happy to go back to that in the new year. But I'll tell you, I've looked ahead to what you, you guys have on tap for what we're going to mm -hmm. talk about over the next several months. And they're going to be good ones. So maybe toward the end of the year, but I don't want to skip anything that's already on the docket because they look pretty good. Right. That's awesome. All right, Dr. David, thanks so much for being here with me again. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and looking forward to everything that's going to happen with the new year. Oh, Jess, Jess, let me say it this time. Yeah. Okay. First off to okay. everyone out there, happy holidays. And remember, hashtag Absite Smackdown. Thanks for listening to the Absite Smackdown podcast. Visit us at absitesmackdown.com for more great Absite facts.